Before attempting any of the steps in this video, check with your local DNR and or county authorities to see if they have information about your well on record and to find out what your local code and regulations are. This will help give you an idea as to how deep your current pump may be and if you can legally perform these operations yourself or if you need to hire a professional. The first step in selecting the right 4-inch submersible pump for your water system is to discover where your well is and this is done by locating your well casing. After you've located your well casing, remove the cover and measure the inside diameter of the casing with a tape measure. This is so you know what size pump will fit into the opening. Now you need to find out what type of pump your water system is currently working with. This can be revealed one of two ways. First, check on or near your well casing, tank, or control box to see if the installer of the pump made a note of any information about the pump, which may include things like pump depth, model number, horsepower, etc. The second method is to pull the pump from the well. Be aware that the pump may be several hundred feet into the ground, and the combined weight of the pump, pipe, and water in the pipe can be extremely heavy. Without the proper equipment, pulling a pump can be very difficult and dangerous. To remove the pump yourself, you will need a pitless adapter tool. This tool will screw onto the pitless adapter, enabling you to pull the pump up. Once you have your pump out of the well, make a note of the number of wires coming from the pump. Your pump will be a 2-wire plus ground or 3-wire plus ground, although if your pump was installed before 1990, it may have only 3 wires with no ground, but this install will have a control box. If your water system is using a control box, you will need to replace your current pump with a 3-wire plus ground pump. If your water system is not using a control box, then you'll need a 2-wire plus ground pump. For this setup, your pump will be wired directly to the pressure switch. Now that you know what your current pump type is, you'll need to determine what size your new pump needs to be. If you haven't already removed your pump from the well, now's the time. First step to determine the size of the pump you need is to find out how far down your well is to water. This step is important because your water table may have changed from where the original pump was located in the well. To check the current depth of your well, simply tie a nut or washer to the end of a string and then drop it down the well until you hear a splash. If your well is very deep, you may want to add a fishing bobber after the nut or washer because you may not hear the nut hit water. Once you've hit water, lay the string across the top of the well casing and mark the string with a marker and then pull the string out. Then measure from the mark you made to where the string gets wet. Next, you'll need to find the flow required for your home's current water system. You do this by counting the number of fixtures inside and outside your home. If you have 13 fixtures or fewer, then you'll use a 10 gallon per minute pump. If there are 14 or more, you use a 20 gallon per minute pump. You'll need to decide how much pressure you'll need as well. For a single level home, a 30 to 50 PSI pump will be sufficient. This will also work for two-story homes that do not have water fixtures on the second story, but if you have a bathroom or any other water fixtures on the upper level, you want to use a 40 to 60 PSI pump. It is recommended that when installing a new pump to install new piping as well. Use a minimum of inch and a quarter diameter pipe to match the pump discharge. Please note that this video is not designed to show you how to remove and install a submersible pump, but demonstrates methods on how to select the proper replacement pump when the need arises. Contact your local DNR and or county authorities to check your local codes and regulations before attempting any of the steps in this video.